Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Easy Ag, the number one podcast to help you farm differently. I'm out here in the field today, and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about drought and the effects of drought stress in your corn. I pulled a plant out of the field here and growth staged it, and this corn is about V7 today. And so a couple considerations we have to think about um, when we're talking about drought is what's the growth stage? How much soil moisture do we have into the profile? What's our rooting depth? And how much impact on yield does a drought have at this point in, this, in the game? So um, let's start real quick on what's our rooting profile look like and how much soil moisture we may have available. If we we're standing here today and our moisture profile under this corn crop was full to 36 inches, which I would say is approximately the depth of the root system at this point, I would tell you that we have about four and a half inches of water in the bank. Now, obviously going into drought stress, four and a half inches is not what we have down there available to the plant. So how much water is the plant using is one of the questions that we have. At V6 with um, the heat and the wind that we've been experiencing, this crop is using about one inch of moisture every week. And that will double between V6 and V10. And so if you're thinking, Matt, you know, I don't wanna to have to take my pocket knife and split a stock like you always do on your video to see what growth stage I'm at. I tell you this, this corn is just a little over my knee today at V7. And so V6 would be knee high corn and V10 corn is gonna probably be about as high as your waist when you're walking through it. So between uh, V6, one inch of soil moisture use per week up to V10, two inches of soil moisture use per week, that doubles. After V10, because we achieve full canopy on this corn crop, that water use still climbs slightly, but it kind of starts tapering off and um, at tassel, we may hit maximum water use of two and a half inches per week uh, versus, so we make an increase of about 50 hundredths from V10 to tassel versus making a 100% increase of an inch from V6 to V10. So uh, soil moisture in the profile today, I tell you four and a half inches would be a full profile. I think that profile at 36 inches is probably nearing 50%. That tells me we've got about two and a half inches or two to two and a half inches of available soil moisture. And also tells me we only have one to two weeks before we're gonna get into really significant drought stress in this corn crop. I think although this corn does have some stress going on, significant drought stress is gonna be when these leaves curl and stay curled nearly 24 hours a day, okay? If there is never a period of recovery in this crop, then we're gonna see significant stress and significant yield loss. What's significant? Well, when you have stress like that in a crop this stage, you may be losing one to 3% of yield per day. When that growth stage exceeds V12 and up to tasseling, you're gonna lose between two and 6% per day. And from tasseling up to blister or R1 stage, you're going to lose between three and 9% of yield per day after you've seen four days of that significant drought stress. Okay. Um, after that R1 stage at blister, the crop water use starts to subside just slightly going into grain fill. And so your, your uh, amount of loss of yield for drought in the very late part of the season uh, decreases over time. Again, from R1 to R3, it re reduces down to about two to 6% per day and R3 up to maturity down, um, back down to about one to 3% per day if you see that significant drought. So that kind of gives you an idea of the effects that drought stress can have on your crop, the amount of water use that your crop is uh, currently using and the amount of moisture that may be left in your profile. All of these things are important and they're important factors to consider, especially as we get toward the end of the growing season. 
uh, assuming that we get some rainfall and we get this crop up to tasseling and, uh, and maturity, we wanna take into account before we make our final management decisions for fungus, fungicide and any foliar applications of uh, nutrients, we wanna take into account those factors and how much yield we may have limited through this uh, weather period now. That's all for today. I'm Matt Long, helping you farm differently, providing information you can't get anywhere else. Thank you.